Hello there and welcome to the garden. So today is a very windy spring day. We are definitely getting that March in like a lion. <laughs> it is still pretty chilly, pretty windy. We've got a lot of weather coming through. Um, but I wanted to come out and talk about the unheated greenhouse because wind with these kind of plastic unheated greenhouses is one of the most difficult and kind of dangerous things for these type of greenhouses. A lot of people that I talk to that have trouble with them have trouble with wind and we've been getting gusts like 25 mile an hour gusts. So I know that's not probably a ton for maybe some of you that live in even windier places, but for me, those are pretty big wind gusts. Now with this greenhouse, there's a few things that I have found that have really, really helped to deal with super windy situations. So I just thought I would talk through them um, with you today and just share kind of my tips because I haven't had an issue, knock on wood, I probably shouldn't say this, I haven't had it blow over ever. I haven't had an issue with that. We've had so many days, it's gotten close, but no, it hasn't blown over. So I'm gonna go like knock on the side of the patio or on the fence so that that doesn't happen. Um, but let's talk through what what I've done in order to help keep it from, um, from wind. And the first thing, the biggest thing is location. So I have my greenhouse over here up next to, actually this is my house, my neighbor's house. It's up in a pretty protected corner and this is super important. Um, I don't have to stake it just all on its own into the ground and I think that has helped a whole lot in making sure that it doesn't get blown over by the wind. Oh, here comes a big wind gust. Uh, but it's, it's protected. It's not gonna just, you know, get a full gust of wind because it's got the fence and it's got the houses. I also have attached it to the fence with strings. So as you can see, as the wind gust um, comes through, there's some reinforcement for the greenhouse. It's attached to the fence. You can also tie these down to stakes in the ground. But again, I think that it's nice if you have a, like a side of your house, you could even put, you know, a little like um, screw or something in that you could attach it to something solid and permanent. I feel like that at least for me has worked even better than trying to stake it into the actual ground. And I've tied it over to the house on this side as well. So it's tied to the actual, an actual solid structure. And that just structure. gives you so much more support and then putting it in a sheltered area so that it's getting blocked from the wind between those two. I feel like that's a really good start so that it's not um, just getting blown away by any gusts that come. Okay, so then the next thing that I've done is weighted the greenhouse down. You've probably seen this in other videos with the greenhouse. I've got these big 15 gallon grow bags inside of it and those help to hold the whole greenhouse down as well. So if we look in here, these grow bags are down. They actually go over the base. So there's a whole framework, a little base framework, kind of like this square where the shelf is. And so these grow bags, which it looks like the squirrels have been in here digging in them. That's annoying, <laughs> uh, but it's, um, it's actually holding holding down the entire structure. And so you could use probably sandbags, you could use pots. I like the grow bags because they just, well, one, they're super heavy, they're nice and big, and they're easier than a pot because they just mold over. Like this is what the structure looks like down below. And so the grow bag just molds right over that. You don't have like a tippy. Um, I think if you tried to put a heavy container in, like it would have to try to rest on top of that framework and you might have some spilling and tipping and that kind of issue just because um, because there's that framework there. So with the row bag, it just kind of molds over it, kind of like a sandbag, just molds over it. You don't even notice and you've got a pretty level growing space as well too. I mean, so that's nice. So you can still, as you can see, I've got the little dwarf peas growing in there. So you can still grow something in that bottom area, but then you're also providing a lot of weight. I mean, those grow bags are heavy. I think each grow bag takes about two full like normal size potting mix bags so that's how much weight we're talking about and that really that really helps things and then the last thing that i do is close it i close it all the way up on super windy days so that there's no wind going through it and like catching uh if you left the windows open or the doors open it could come in and catch up in the framework here but by keeping it closed the wind hopefully in theory is just going to go over it around it and you're not going to like lift it up and actually carry it away which is the goal so those are my three kind of big tips protected location 
grow bag or some kind of big weight in the bottom and keep it closed on windy days. And that will go a long way in helping your greenhouse because nothing, nothing is more devastating than having a greenhouse full of seedlings and having, you know, having it blow away. It's, it's, it's so sad. And I've had a few people comment like, my, my greenhouse fell over and I just, my heart goes out to you because it's, that's rough. There's enough issues starting seedlings. I know from like, you can see with the squirrels still digging in my grow bags. Um, I know there's enough issues starting seedlings. The last thing we need is everything to get blown over. I'd love to hear too, if you have any other ideas, you know, share with each other in the comments uh, because growing in these little greenhouses is super, super fun, but wind is definitely a really risky part of using them and can make it not fun at all. So it is, yeah windy and kind of cold. I think I'm going to stay inside most of today. We've got um, a couple more warm days coming up. I think tomorrow it's going to be in the 60s Fahrenheit. So probably why we're getting all this wind is we've got warm air coming in, which will be really, really nice. Uh, we just got to get through all the windy March weather. In like a lion, out like a lamb though, right? So we're almost to warmer temperatures. All right. I'm gonna head inside and warm up. Thank you as always so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye-bye.